collecting is about collecting memories. As a designer, as a, a creator, I keep reminding myself how could I move on, how could I learn more, and I find collecting is the best solution of all. I'm <laughs> so excited to be here because I have heard and read so much about this space. Can you tell us more about the Salons 27? It was curated for my birthday oh, to wow. celebrate my 70th birthday last year. So I basically transformed this uh, gallery space into like a private home like a mini museum, collector's atelier, whatever you call it. I can see the space is bursting creativities. And right at the entrance, we, I saw this uh, painting by Zheng Fanzhi. You pair it with a table from Louis XVI period. And that is so rare to see in Hong Kong. Well, I like the simplicity of it. It's uh, very elegant. It like, has a bit of Shong Dynasty kind of silhouette, very simple. And has a very Asian, subtle Asian touch to it. What we call Shin Mastery. And look at the centerpiece, it's just so beautiful because it works so well with the decorative arts around. I can see the mixture from different culture and history. Like what we have there is that um, Ming Dynasty Cloisonne table scroll. All the juxtaposition of objects on this table and everywhere in the room is actually trying to create contrast, create conversation, create stories. It's about uh, how I put objects on the table to drive the emotion of your eye, uh, to move around and see things. I would call that performer. When I set up this table, the room is like a performance. And here this cat is actually from the 18th century, Louis XV. Exactly, yeah. The porcelain part is from China. Mm. It is from the Qianlong period and the base is a French bronze base mm. and it was once collected by one of the most important collector, Madame de Pompadour. Uh -huh. The piece was created by this Marchand Monsieur. Oh. He's a tastemaker at the okay. time, very well known. And just like you today, Alan, bringing all these beautiful objects together. Well, I have to admit, I think the French really understand what chinoiserie is all about, how the yeast meets where. The word chinoiserie is such a stylish way to embrace what we have in this room. And how about this Yuichi painting? Well, he's my idol. I always want to collect his work. And then I have a couple of his uh, calligraphy. And this is a Chinese character of boat. It actually composed of two main brush strokes, one at the back, and the last one like a horizontal brush, which springs from the left to the right. Simultaneously, the ink spills over the entire white space to create the dimension of the, the painting. But what it means actually is actually suggest the movement of the boat. That's the rip of the water. Life's a journey, we have to move on, you know. Now, this tournament, I housed three pieces of artwork. Murakami, New Year, and also this beautiful Chinese screen. You can see this green line. Mm -hmm. Actually, it's my light installation about my memory about uh, Arashiyama in Kyoto, the bamboo forest. I think that work in the Asian perspective, and that's also part of my landscape concept. On the other wall, where I have all the landscape, so, New Year, this very really interesting painting. The major part of it reminds me of wandering, reminds me of Chinese window. So that is part of landscape. Murakami, smiling faces, flowers in the landscape. You see later, you see flowers. That's how they come together. Well, personally, I think the music room is my favorite here because the atmosphere you create. Is there any reason you pick these, these two paintings here? You look at the figure, the scene, and the Judah Trent. To me, it's the same kind of emotion. It's about staging. Of course, collecting is important in my life because uh, I'm a designer, I'm a curator, and I'm also a young artist. So for collecting, there's so much to learn from. And where did the objects from the street market? I got it from an art dealer, a vintage shop, or even auction houses. It's a whole encyclopedia of knowledge that you can get in your hand. <laughs>